first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Raptors, fighting for their first win of the series, will try to even the score at 1-1 one one as they go up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. We are set to bring you the action as round one of the Eastern Conference playoffs continues on 2K Sports. And tonight we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they go up against the Milwaukee Bucks here at Pfizer Forum. This is Brian Anderson, courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Well, Fred Van Vliet, a first-time All-Star in 2021, said of his journey, quote, it's like a movie storyline, just scratching and clawing, all the work and the sacrifices. I'm always going to have this great perspective that allows me to navigate differently and helps me succeed. Brian? Ali, his toughness and IQ, a big factor for them. Thanks for that. Now let's take a look at Toronto's starting lineup. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt. The forward duo, the athletic pair of Barnes and Siakam, and it's Pirtle in at center. And for the Bucks, at forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Joe Ingles is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. It's Toronto. Trent outside. Pirtle with a screen on Ingles. Trent, the pass to Pirtle. The kick out to Van Vliet. Trent for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Middleton outside. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's his first foul. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Then lead against Holiday. Shot clock at six. The three is up. Barnes with the rebound. And it's Toronto's ball. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Trent. The rebound by Ingles. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Now Holiday. Three pointer is up. Middleton. That one doesn't drop. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Van Vliet. Over Holiday. No good. And Milwaukee the other way now. Middleton passes to Anacumpo. Lopez, the screen on Siakam. And here is Anacumpo. Back to Middleton. Fires from the corner, and a great assist by Anadokounmpo, and that one goes in. Always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. Ingles against Trent. Pass to Van Vliet. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Hey, take it right to the defense. Not a bad way to start this game. It's Middleton on the wing. He's guarded by Barnes. Middleton passes to Ingles. Soft touch off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Siakam. Takes it in. The rebound by Ingles. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Yep, that one's good. Boy, once Giannis gets the ball in the painted area, 
Antetokounmpo is really almost automatic. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Back to Van Vliet. Picked by Pirtle. The 11-footer. And the basket by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his second bucket of the night. The defense lets him off the hook and gives up two points because of it. Right wing. Fades. And on to Kumpo with the basket. On the assist from Holiday. Boy, that is some kind of heads up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide open man and found him perfect. Trent finds Barnes. Three pointer off the mark. The Bucks have gone four of six in the first quarter. Pass to Holiday. And here's Lopez. And here is Hanada Kumpo, guarded by Trent. Shots good by Hanada Kumpo. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, huh, that's the way to do it. Now here's Siakam. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Hanada Kumpo with the block. Well, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic, and... Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. Here's Ingles. Outside Holiday. Back to Ingles. For three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Ingles got five points. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Siakam against Hanna de Kumpo. Siakam pass to Van Vliet. Van from the field after that one. Three for four now. There's 49 seconds left now in the first quarter. Hanna de Kumpo against Siakam. Hanna de Kumpo outside. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. And Pirtle deserves a lot of credit for his shot blocking ability. He's a dynamic and dynamite shot blocker. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Honor to Kumpo, outside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Gary Trent. A multiple-time MVP. You know, what's really scary is that Giannis feels like he can keep getting better. And more importantly, he does the work to get better. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. So both teams changing it up here. One's no good. One second left. No good that time. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. The Bucks on top, up 11. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Back to the action as game two is getting underway. And for the Bucks here, they've been putting on a show, guys. 
great offensive energy in that period. They're clearly on a mission. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. Milwaukee with the ball. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. So on the floor for Toronto to kick off the second quarter. Trent Jr. and Ananobi out on the wings. Siakam and Achua down low at the four and the five. And it's Van Vliet in at the point. Now here's Trent looking for his first basket still in this one. And that one drops. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. Holiday from long range. The shot no good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Pass to Van Vliet. Drops in the three. Van Vliet's got nine. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Over to the wing. Back to Holiday. Honor to Kumpo. Outside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Defense has Giannis well covered, but gets physical right back and draws the foul in the act of shooting. Giannis at the Kumpo. And that one falls. Toronto to Kumpo. Young. He's checked in for Toronto. So he's able to get one of two. Toronto trailing. Right outside. It's hauled in by Portis. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. Tipped away. Van Vliet with it. And Connaughton picks him up defensively. Pass to Trent. The shot that time not on target. Some solid defense from Holiday. to Kumpo against Trent. Spins. Honor to Kumpo. Bam. Honor to Kumpo's got 10 points in the game. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. And lead against Holiday. And there's the rejection. Honor to Kumpo. Outside. Shoots again, and he sinks the layup. He's got 12. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach. The Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got nine. Trent from long range. The rebound by the Bucks. Adana Kumpo has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Holiday against Van Vliet. And it's Portis. That time on the assist from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists in the game. The Raptors have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Allen against Trent. Pass to Achua. They need this. And again, no good by Toronto. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they
They've really been strong on the glass. And here are the Raptors now. Following the score by Milwaukee. Three-pointer Van Vliet. It's hauled in by Portis. The Bucks have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Outside Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Out of bounds. It'll be Toronto's ball. Middleton has checked in for Connaughton. Scotty Barnes checked in for Toronto. Toronto's gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Now Ananobi. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. That one rolls around and rims out. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Van Vliet against Holiday. Pass to Portis. Here's Middleton. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Barnes. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Here's Holiday. Portis with a screen on Van Vliet. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. down the first one. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think, probably has added motivation for him to excel. And the Bucks making a change here. Carter's checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Siakam, he's checked in for Young. Good on both. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. My kind of hoop. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Toronto calls timeout. Checked in for Achua. Outside. Barnes finds Van Vliet. Back to Barnes. Tries to snap the cold streak. No good there. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Portis with a screen on Ananobi. Out to Portis. From outside the arc. And it's Toronto with a rebound. 
defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Pass to Pirtle. Here's Van Vliet from behind the arc. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got four rebounds in the game. Oh, deflected. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. It's a three on three fast break. And Barnes with a basket. The assist from Adenobi. Hustle plays like that are crucial right now. You have to convert on every turnover you get. Adenokounmpo. And the jam by Adenokounmpo. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal. And with that, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Giannis Adenokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thank you. I'm here with Bucks head coach Mike Budenholzer. And coach, talk about how you built this lead here at the half. You know, I think our defense was pretty good. Our activity, hands. I think we created a couple turnovers, got out and run. Um, Giannis came to the basket. We made some threes. So it's just good on both sides of the ball. That activity created lots of chaos. Good luck in the second half. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Hello and welcome everybody. Coming into halftime of game two, there's an air of confidence for the Milwaukee Bucks. This offense has been off the charts good. I mean, we're seeing player movement, ball movement, guys are getting in the right spots and spacing on the floor. Uh, just an incredible first half display. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks. They already have a lead in the series, and guys, they look to be in total control. They are clicking at the right moment. That said, I sure can click at the wrong moment in the playoffs. Yeah, always a good thing, but as you said, Ernie, this series is theirs for the take. That's why I said it. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Drew Holiday out there with Joe Ingles. And it's Middleton in at the three, small forward. That's the group from Milwaukee right now. Now here's Trent. Picked by Pirtle. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Rebound Milwaukee. On to the Kumpo has got nine rebounds now. Here's Ingles. Good. And on to the Kumpo gets the assist. Ingles has got seven. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got nine. Trent outside. Jacks up a three. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Ingles, no good. 
Toronto's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Siakam, pass to Barnes. Van Vliet outside. Picked by Pirtle. Launches a three. Van Vliet misses. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Over Van Vliet. Anadokounmpo can't connect. The Raptors have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Barnes with a screen on Lopez. Trent from long range. Counted from distance. Trent's got his second basket on the night. There it is. The first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Holiday passes to Ingles. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Over Siakam. Anadokounmpo can't connect. Pass to Van Vliet. Pirtle with a screen on Holiday to the paint. Then Pirtle gets it to go on the assist from Van Vliet. Got to admire how fast Pirtle slashes to the rim after setting the screen. Anadokounmpo against Siakam. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. First free throw is good. A different look for Milwaukee. Matthews, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Allen comes in for Ingles. And Drogic has subbed in for Holiday. Achua's checked in for Toronto. Boucher comes in for Siakam. Second free throw, no good. Toronto has gone one of four here in the third from range. Achua with the dunk. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Here's Dragic. The Raptors making their last shot. Achua with a rebound. And that's a low percentage shot, and I'm sure he knows it. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You've got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Now here's Trent. Five points in the game. Van Vliet up top. Allen defending. Pocket four. Back to Boucher. From the arc. That shot off. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Anacupo's got six in the quarter. And Giannis understands this is part of the game he's got to work on. The, the key for him is shooting threes with confidence and selectively. Sinks the tray. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Anacupo. He's got 22. Trent outside. The three. The rebound by the Bucks. Adenakumpo has got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Dragic. Here's Matthews. Allen with it. Lopez, the screen. Allen can't get it to go. For Toronto, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Van Vliet on the wing. 127 left in the third quarter here. Kept alive, and they recover it. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. Now here's Lopez. 
Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. But Chua with a screen on Dragic. Here's Boucher for three. It's not going to go for him. For Milwaukee, they've gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. On to Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. They double him with a Chua. Lopez can't hit. Does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. It's good. He's six for 12 from the floor. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Pass to Lopez. They double him with a Chua. Looking to end the drought. Lopez can't hit. Van Vliet outside. Achua with a screen on Allen. Here's Boucher for three. Yeah, I don't want to dismiss the defensive chops of Ante Kukupo. I mean, he is so good at handling himself on the defensive end, whether he's guarding his own guy or in position to help his teammates. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. Defense is setting the tone. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. The forward duo, the athletic pair of Barnes and Siakam. OG Ananobi out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Achua in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Siakam. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Barnes against Portis. Pass to Van Vliet. And here's the Chua. Up and over Carter. And it's a Chua. That time on the assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his third assist of the night. Out to the right wing. Here's Portis. Oh, hits the outside fadeaway. And the Bucks lead by 11. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Siakam. Achua with a screen on Crowder. Siakam in the post. He's against Crowder. Siakam, no good. The Bucks shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Left side, Carter. Now Portis. Pass to Middleton. Back to Portis. Over at Chua. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And lead up top. Covered by Connaughton. Outside Ananobi. Here's Siakam. And the 17-footer goes down. Siakam's got his first two points of the night. Using focus and balance to convert jumpers. Wow. Siakam has really improved his shooting. Portis with a screen on Barnes. Portis outside. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And Toronto calls time here.
moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh my, I mean, he won in a landslide. He's got more points than the rest of the team combined. It's been by design. I mean, he's been the focal point of their offense from the very start. Once the points started flowing, his teammates were more than happy to keep feeding him. Boy, he is raising his game in the postseason, no doubt about it. Only certain players respond to playoff pressure like he has. Impressive stuff. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. It wasn't feel-good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Crowder against Siakam. And it's good for two. And just a straight baller move from Siakam. I mean, shrugging off the coverage and keeping his focus on that basket. Crowder a screen on Barnes. Here's Middleton. Let's it go for the baseline and nails it. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Siakam finds Van Vliet. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Outside Holiday. It's Portis, high post. He's working on Pirtle. Three-pointer is up. Middleton and the box hit again from deep. Man, it's obvious that Middleton has great confidence. I mean, you can just see it oozing out of him. He's so good at catching the defense off balance and knocking down the catch-and-shoot jump shot. Pirtle with a screen on Crowder. Siakam, pass to Pirtle. Portis with the steal. In transition. Here come the Bucks. Three-pointer, Holiday. Siakam pulls down the board. Siakam's got four rebounds now. Doesn't go for him. Oh, great D that time from Portis. The Bucks have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Crowder outside. Misses the three. Not a lot of time left for the Raptors in this one. Outside Ananobi. Siakam against Portis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Bucks. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. That free throw misses. A different look for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Anadokounmpo comes in for Crowder. And it's Allen in for Carter. Trent, he's checked in for Toronto. Hits the second from the line. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Siakam against Antetokounmpo. Now here's Middleton. Tightly guarded. Back to Antetokounmpo. Shot clock at five. Over Siakam. And that one hits the back iron. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. So that's the end of game two. No question, this is a big win for the Bucs. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. This team is playing with confidence and heart right now. They're in control of this series so far. Yeah, no question. They're the more cohesive team right now and just going out there and executing their game plan. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Giannis Antetokounmpo.
I think his biggest contribution may have been on the boards. He kept plays alive and denied second chances. Siakam hits them both. 59 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Lopez, the screen. Middleton from the outside. Rebound by the Raptors. You know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. And the Raptors miss again. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. it in with a nice touch off the window and the Bucks lead by 12 their home crowd has energized them all game now they're closing it out and I think they can start that celebration right now I mean what a terrific team victory and we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time great stuff making an impact I love the aggression playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead So it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Uh, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball. We knocked down shots. But most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We've got to build up this. We've got to go back to the team, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.